Hi, my name is David Gill, and I'm going to be demonstrating El Tirador on behalf of the Tucson International Mariachi Conference. So let's start out with looking at the key signature. We're in the key of G, Sol, so we have a nice F sharp there. Now, um, the first note is a half note, and it's very, very important that we catch our string on the way down. So we're going to employ this catch technique, and we're going to start by getting the edge of the note and pulling down from the frog. We don't want this. We want a nice catch. So I'm going to play the intro for you, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so very, very important at the last, the very last note of that intro is a half note. And it's very crucial that we follow through on that half note and keep our torsion on the string. All the way through to the frog. We don't want to let that note resolve and go down into piano. We want to keep the tension on the string. Now all of A and B, that's chorus lines. So you will be receiving a video on uh, not only the phrasing, but also the, uh, the notes that you sing uh, as, uh, in relation to first and second voice. Now we're going to do that all the way down to C measure 25. Again, we're going to employ the same technique. We're going to do the catch technique. We don't want to hit that note uh, legato. So again, with the... Those of you playing first violin, you'll be on the B. So I'm going to play this, and then we'll go back and we'll talk about it from C to D, okay? And a one, two, three... Okay, so at the beginning, again, the catch, and then at measure 26, 27, 28, there is a G sharp there. And then at 29, we're going to slide in just slightly into this A. And then follow through with that torsion all the way through the bow into the frog. Okay, at D... We are changing keys. We're going to go to the key of C, and there's going to be eight measures of trumpet solo. Now at E, we're going to come in, and there's a very uh, important technique when you're playing these quarter notes. And what you're doing is you're pressing in to the bow to get that sound, because you just don't want to hit it straight. You don't want to do this... You want to, very, very important. So now against the F natural, which are grace notes, it should sound like this. And follow through all the way up uh, throughout the duration of that up bow with a nice, rich vibrato and torsion on your string. Okay, so there are repeat dots there. That means we're gonna go back to A. Back to A, and we're going to have chorus through A and D, and that we end up at C again. That's measure 25. Now we're gonna go the third time out just so we can get a, an idea of how it sounds going out of the song. So measure 25 again, and we're gonna catch that note uh, very, very important that we catch the note and not hit that legato. And we're going to... So let's try that. Ready? One, two, three. And all the way through the full duration of the bow. And then uh, at D again, we have our eight measures, the trumpet solo. And then at E... Again, with the same technique, and we're using our fingers to go into the string, so it kind of like gives that that effect. All right, so here we go. And a one, two, three. Following through all the way 
up. And now at F, again, we're gonna catch that note that's a half note. So we wanna make sure that sound. We don't want this. Okay, so let's hear F going out. And a one, two, three. And then at the end, there's a formata at the D and a formata at the A. The last two notes are gonna be martelet bow stroke, which translates into hammer. It's a martelet, it is not legato. So at the end, martelet. Very important. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.